Hello everyone, my name is Telma. Thank you, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It means the world to me. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please don't leave this channel without subscribing. Thank you. And we will be talking about how to grow or build and sustain your relationship with the one and only. So let's head into the video. a question do you think that a relationship built on fear can work do you also think that a relationship with trust issues can work well i don't think so and that's the same thing with our relationship with god when we don't trust god his word we are not going to grow in our relationship with him who, by the way, is the one and only I was talking about. So, like, over the years, I struggled with the fact that God loves me. I never understood God's love for me. And I used to do things like keeping records of everything I did. Um, if I did good today, I was going to keep record of it. If I did bad, I was going to keep record of it. And, you know, when I fell short, I couldn't come to God because... I didn't think I was worthy to come to him and while that might be a legit feeling it's not a good thing to you know run away from God as a matter of fact it's pride like when we do something and we run away from God and we're all pity party party no it's pride and God's love for us is never based on anything that we do. First, he died for us even before we said yes to him. And we can see that in Romans 5 verse 8. It says that God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. So God loved us when we are sinners. How much more now that we are in Christ? And the Bible says in Ephesians 1 verse 5 that God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. And this is what he wanted to do and he gave him great, great pleasure. So Christ already in advance thought about us. He chose us even before we chose him. So how much more now? So it's not about the things that we do. Of course, when we understand God's love for us, trust me, we're not even going to be so sin conscious. Like, we're going to be more God conscious because when you're conscious of someone's love for you, like knowing that someone loves you, you're going to do everything to, you know, please the person because you know this person loves you and you will even grow in love with the person because this person loves you and everything everything god does for you is is good is for good like he's always thinking to do you good because he loves you if someone died for you when you were a sinner how much more now like there's no fa good father that will you know send his child away simply because the child did something bad of course he's going to correct you which God will, God will correct you, but he's not going to, you know, send you away. He loves you. Like he let you, he really, really, really loves you. So first John 4 verse 18 says that such love has no fear. And because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced his love for us, his perfect love. So I want to leave you with one scripture today, Romans 8.35, that nothing can separate you from God's love. So my darling, rest in God's love. And that's the only way for you to build and grow in your relationship with God. And please, I did not put this head tie because I wanted to seem religious. My hair is a struggle at the moment. And please, I hope this blessed you. Please don't forget to like, share and comment thank you see you in my next video bye